time with Uncle Bill and uh, today's story is a uh, could be a Hallmark movie um, it involves the second time I was in federal prison um, I had to go serve two years on a violation and uh, but I was excited because I had a game plan I was gonna take all these classes I was gonna go to college never had to worry about being locked up again it was the right thing to do um i could have got less time but the judge hammered me and um is what it is what it is i got 24 months so but i was ready and i already did three years so i thought i knew the ropes i didn't know where i was going um but i ended up at fpc seymour johnson which is a federal camp um there's no there's no gate or nothing. You walk off of it. <clears throat> it was nice. It had a creek in it. And I'm doing it. I love creeks, man. And you had to clean it out. And I catch crawdads and frogs. And the dudes all say, y'all good. You guys are crazy. And I was like, yeah, but it's what I love to do. The water was cold. And y'all was doing was hot. It was, it was nice. People there was pretty cool. You know what I mean? There's this thing who's harder stayed or fed i mean it's the people um but you gotta understand it's just it used to be for the united states air force and they put criminals in it so not really made for criminals at the time people it was made for the military so it probably is better than what's made for criminals for state i don't say this is sorry and all that but that's what it was and um this place is all right so uh i mean it's really all right and um i took all these programs i'm trying to trying to figure out a way how to not give this program secret away. I don't even know if the program's still there, but it's called the Insight Program. And uh, man, Monster Help. If y'all are still doing it, y'all who done it, if, if you watch this, great job. It was real helpful to me. And I, you gotta take a couple courses, you know, and they teach you to be a teacher or a counselor or a helper or something. Um, very, very, it's like, was this cool? A lot of things and uh, they call it the hug of thug class. I mean, you don't know why until the end they had this angel walk. So properly named. so properly named but the just of it your eyes closed there's music playing and it feels like you're fine and there's a hug at the end you can guess who it is after the end of class I had long hair. <clears throat> I was wearing a ponytail. And so when I had took the class again, I had volunteered to be a hugger. And this this second class, um, a lot of my partners went there and uh, some um real lot of honesty people I mean real lot of people let stuff go <clears throat> there's two older women I had the certificate um but they just knew man I don't, I don't know how they knew and and because of them um it inspired me to be open and forthcoming 
to make people push maybe what's holding them back or and I, I, it's helpful doesn't always work addiction's an ugly ugly disease and um, having bad things having experienced bad things uh, sometimes it's just hard to let go and there was some monster dudes But it was this big uh, old white dude, bald headed guy. Had a food man chick, looked like a biker. And like the first thing he said during the group was like, yeah, I'm uh, I'm intimidated and looking and he was a good dude, man. Um But I felt him, you know what I mean? I kinda I come out and tell you I hit hard, so you look intimidating, I feel you. He did. And, um, but he, I don't really remember him, like, participating like that, you know? And there was some people really opening up. Like, I, I don't think I, not that much, not that much. Um, I mean, it was group hugs. I mean, it was, it was, I don't know what group hugs was that. Group hugs in the shower. <laughs> So anyway, everybody made it to the, to the course, and uh, we was on smoke. And this is a, this is like eight hours. It's a whole day, for eight three days, eight hours. Day. I mean, it's and and the, and the women got it going. They are prepared. They the the response they need, they'll get it. You'll be you you you'll have doubt. You'll be confused. You when it all comes together, it's, it's the one of the best. And it might even be, I'm looking at my computer, it might even be on YouTube and been going on and it's the biggest thing on earth and I don't even know about it, but if it's not, it should be. It really should be. And those women that should get all the credit and even if they didn't make it up themselves, they should get credit for teaching. Like that. And um, saw this hawk. They don't like birds in the military or anything flying. They just do it destroy something and I watched this hawk get the screw out of a tree I mean out of a bush and it, and it was in there for 10 seconds so I didn't even know what it was or what it got and it came out and took his two claws and spread it down squirrel and just, and I mean pulled out a chunk man it's a national grid grass it's when you wish you had a camera right there a camcorder or something man it was awesome <laughs> but uh, that's when I was going to be the hugger. And I'm seeing what's going on, people, and I'm like, damn, that's what that is. Cool. That's cool. And uh, whoever thought of that, man, damn, that's cool, man. Because it's, it's I, I hate to say it, it's supposed to be some secrets. Secrets. I always end up telling anyway because it's about the truth and nobody gonna get in trouble. But it's I, if I cheat anybody, I'm sorry. It's, but you have to go through the program, and I recommend it. I strongly recommend it. Um, so I'm looking, and there's ten, nine, eight. And it's going good. It's weird when you hunger a grown man, you know what I mean? Even when he's your friend, because some people hug longer than others. Some some are in or not. It was, I can't remember how many people. It was probably at least 15. Um, <laughs> but that white dude, um, he came up and um, they kind of guide you. And he put his arms around me. And there was like this confusion. 
like a, I'm not, I don't know, it was weird. And then, oh my God, people he, he just held the shit out of me. I mean, not let it go. Not hurt, but it was a, uh, something was right. And he just started crying. I mean, all out. When man David Lee died, like that, it was, it was, I mean, all out. It was so, man, I felt it, I felt it, I felt it, I felt it, I felt it. And it was cool, I could suck it up. That, I mean, it was, and, um, there's all there's people blindfolded in line, and you know it's supposed to be continuous, and there's other people in the room, and like I don't know what to do, and um, I'm not sure how long it went on, maybe a minute and a half, two minutes, but that's a long time, maybe even longer, I don't know, but um, he breaks, and you got to carry on, you know, so I did. Get everybody else, and um, like I'm shook. Well, I'm shook. I don't know what just happened. You know what I mean? Um, I, don't, I, I can't fathom it. I, I don't know. So we go back into class, and uh, you get your certificate. And folks, man. When I was in prison, that's the only thing I gave a damn about because it showed that I didn't waste my time. It showed that I proved that I just wasn't, I was worth more than being an inmate. If I could, everything I could do, I did. And uh, But that piece of paper, that's all anything is anyway. Just let you know you had the ability to learn or whatever. So we're in there and... Um, we get your certificates and stuff, and um, she asks, "Is anybody would like to say anything?" And dudes, it was a white dude, man. He was all he swole up. He, he got his composure back, but you know, when you're white like that, you gotta turn red, and puffy. And he said, "I like to say something." He said, uh, before he got locked up, um, and don't quote me, and, and if you're watching, uh, hell, let people know, man. I mean, it was you. Uh, man, I, I, I like you verify the story. Um, I hope I don't get this part wrong, but if most of I can remember, he was, uh, he said before he got locked up, he had been doing some drugs and shit, and him and his sister had gotten a fight, and as she went out and got in a car accident, and had died. And um, he was kind of ate up that he never got to uh, reconcile, or, you know, that she had died, it was like on bad terms. And, um, man, when you hear that after you, they all say, oh, Oh man, that sucks. And he goes, but when I was when I was walking, every time I got closer, there was a light, and um, my, my sister was there, and she told me not to. <laughs> she told me everything's all right, and she loved me, and she she wasn't ever mad at me. And then she had hugged me. And, uh, like, I'm, I'm a pretty smart dude, man. And, and it was like instantly my mom went, damn, did I know I was just... Because I believe in all that, man. You know what I mean? I mean, we were kind of like ghosts, right? And, uh, was I a vessel? No. I looks like by all intents and purposes I was and uh, he said he just lost it and uh, 
I guess I didn't even realize that it might have been me because of my ponytail, but um, because I'm a big ass dude, but uh, I, I'd like to think I was. Um, that's kind of what I do. I don't know if you can share anything more special than that. Um, it was, it was, it was, it was incredible. It was so unexpected. I mean, there's a lot of blue people. Um, I've had a lot of things like this happen, and um, it's verifiable. It's, it was a lot of people. And if, uh, and God forbid, if you should be in prison, and you should do as much as you can, because that time, time, do something. Don't let time do you. It goes to you. It's not going to go by any faster. Do something. That insight program is awesome. It should be taught everywhere. Probably should be taught before you go to prison. But anyway, that's today's story. I hope you like it. And if so, hit the like, share, and subscribe button. And shout out to Joe Guerrero and the APS Army. Gay Day. <laughs> My man, Shannon. Um, Rabbit. Jericho, whatever your name is, man. Um, I like watching y'all, Joe. I give you an exclusive, man. Um, I'm shouting y'all straight up. Uh, and I got some skills for that house flipping. He's looking at a master painter. Um, she rock. I'll mess with that electrician, but I, I could help you out, man. Um, I was gonna get up with you before this, but it's I've 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 been going through some stuff that uh, led me to this, and I needed this, and um, I watched a bunch of your videos. They're pretty cool, man. Um, anyway, thank you. Y'all have a good day. Peace.